the next stage of, uh, of the boiler well first off I've, uh, I've, I've got this bushing in now that's for the top feed and I've redone if you remember this was looking a little spludgy I've redone this bushing which is for the dome it's looking quite good on this side but on this side we've got a gap as you can see if I bring it in closer I've got a gap here now I think the solder may have penetrated into here but I'm not absolutely sure so I'm going to give it another wipe over when I do the stays at the back here just one thing I want to just mention again to you is that you can't really give yourself enough space here this is where the steam is going to be forming that's the top of the firebox you don't ever want the water to go below the top of the firebox but you want to be able to have enough space in here for the steam to collect and for the f fire to heat the water to bubble off and allow it to collect up there as you can see here I've got a water, water jacket round the boiler here this is called a, this is going to be called a foundation ring when I put it in um, so now I'm going to just put the stays in here all 20 of them and have a go at brazing them up to get the stay heads inside the um, the uh, firebox here I leave the back end of it open I also leave the foundation ring off as well and uh, there's reasons for this one is to uh, so I'm get, I can get the flame in here to heat up the back of the stay heads and get uh, the silver solder on them the other thing is, is of course you get differential expansion as well between the two it's not to put too much stress on the joints on the outer shell here um, what I do is I normally use a torch head like this on my propane torch the flame the air is supplied here now blasting into the firebox like this means that, that means that you can get a kickback from the hot gases in such a way that it will actually put out the flame here so I have a special um, uh, propane head here which has which takes in the oxygen down the bottom here so the flames here but it's actually taking the oxygen mix in down here which means there's less chance of it actually being blown out by the um, uh, by the confines of the firebox while I'm heating that up so that's a pretty useful thing to have now that I've done the stays raised in the stays here put in the two bushes corrected the problem here where I had a little bit of a gap in the uh, silver solder there it's all looking pretty good um, inside the firebox you can see it looks um, got nice penetration all around I've had a close inspection top on it here you can see that looks pretty um, pretty good all around there now, the next job is to go around and uh, with a pair of clippers just clip off the stays stay ends I should say not the whole stay of course like this Uh, clean them all off, do the same on the rest of it, and then I'll just file the heads. Don't file them completely flat. You don't want them to. Go, you don't want this completely flat with the surface. You want a little bit because you need to leave the bead around the stays. Uh, you don't want to take the bead completely off. So I'll do that, and then the job is to place, put the um, the back plate on here, and the uh, foundation ring. Uh, the back plate's quite interesting. I'll show you some more details of that in a short while on the next video.